Acting Executive Director of the Technology Transfer and Innovation Division. The Technology Transfer and Innovation takes innovation coming from the university and we then make that innovation accessible to industry. So in this regard, uh, we have uh, brought technology from Germany in this case, which is the first such machine in the Southern Hemisphere. And what we do with this machine is we actually empower South African families to be able to compete with China and other competitive nations. Now in foundries, the mold is used as a cavity into which the molten material is poured and that then gives you the product. So what this machine does is we can design a part for a client, then create a cavity in the form of a sand mold. That sand mold is then transported to a foundry and they can directly pour the brass or the stainless steel or whatever metal they require for their client uh, into that cavity. We also wrought on the scope a natural complementary technology for 3D printing, a scanning technology. That scanning actually can run the whole space you know, from visual scanners uh, through to X-ray scanners, uh, ultrasonic scanners, however you can create an image, uh, that same image can be printed. Then we are also working with uh, partners to ensure that we add electronics into the 3D printing uh, technology and that is also a complementary technology. We also have various CNC technologies available for more conventional products. Uh, then this is actually just one unit of the university. The university obviously has a lot of other uh, units where they do various uh, other different things. Um, but historically our unit has focused uh, very much on the 3D printing space um, in order to bring that technology both into the university and into South Africa. I'm a director of the Institute of Chemical and Biotechnology, uh, which operates at three levels. The first one is more on the essential oils. The second one, the indigenous knowledge systems. And the third one is the application of this, that can be formulation of new products like your hair care, your cosmetics and drug formulations. The institute sees itself as a firstly as a research center. Mm -hmm. we, we are more in a research space than simply a routine type of space. And secondly, what motivates us and we encourage this through all the stuff that we are a learning organization. Innovation, innovation, innovation. I think this is what drives us in, in the space. Most of the time you don't necessarily come playing to the office, but you look forward to something new that you can discover within the research space and also thereafter to see if there is a potential of commercializing this that you have discovered. And that is the drive in the office. And every day when we come in here, we are looking forward for something new in the everyday that we are doing. I'm the head of the Enterprise Development Unit. Uh, the unit is responsible for commercializing the university research and university offerings. It consists of four components, technology transfer component, a research component, short learning program management component and partnership component. So the tech transfer component is responsible for looking at the institutional research, protecting that research through intellectual property, and then developing a commercialization strategy. At the moment, the institution has 37 patent applications at various stages. So that's the tech transfer unit. Then we have the short learning program management unit. That unit is responsible for managing all short learning programs that are offered by the institution. That includes short learning programs that are part, for, part of the qualification. And we provide that service to the public sector and to the private sector. 
and then the partnership public relations unit is to market the enterprise development unit to look at new opportunities for the university and then the rest of the team exploit those opportunities and then we find more unit is the research unit that the research unit is responsible for looking at research in technology transfer technology transfer research looks at how universities commercialize research and uh, what's the impact of legislation on that process. One of the components of the unit is also projects. We have a few projects uh, as part of the university impacting the community. We have partnered with SASL to implement an entrepreneurship program that takes disadvantaged, disillusioned youth and puts them through a program that gives them the skills to start their own business. I think uh, we're in a very privileged space in the university environment because although we might not be at a traditional comprehensive university, we have a strong opportunity to make impact because our science and industrial park is in the heart of the community and not distant from the community. So this is the place to build a legacy. If you want to make a difference and you want to build a legacy, then I believe UT is the place to do that.